Ooh. Ooh, guess who back? What up, everybody? Another Daddy Devotional. And uh, it is uh, afternoon. It's actually 5.30 right now. And uh, I am just now getting on the road. How crazy is that? T today has been ridiculous today. Like, I can't even... Like, look at this. There's a car seat in my in the Mustang. You guys know I don't put car seats in the Mustang. It's a no-no. But today has been that kind of day. So, whoa. Don't put the car in reverse while you're <laughs> looking to go forward. That'll preach. Anyway, this is what's going on, guys. So today, um, I had to, uh, I missed most of the day. Today, Raven had uh, an appointment today that lasted several hours. Um, and during that time, uh, our son has 101 temperature fever. Um, so I stayed home with him today, and uh, which basically pushed everything back. So uh, I was supposed to be at the church office today. I had so much to do um, in getting ready for our small groups tomorrow. Couldn't do it, um, but I will be going tonight. So um, I also have Hope Fellowship tonight. We are on our second to last Bible study for the semester. So I am headed in the car right now to go pick up the food, well, some of the food, and then got to go to Target to pick up some stuff for the kids because they had they need medicine. Then I'm on my way to the office to drop off some receipts and get some stuff started. Go to the college, go teach at the college, then come back to the church office and do some more work at the church office. Then hit the gym. And that's where I want to essentially start uh, today's vlog. I want to talk about um, what's getting ready to happen with Daddy Devotional. So it's something that I'm starting. I, I actually started this about... Uh, I started this, oof. well, officially today, I started it 40 days ago. So I had this idea that I really believe was God inspired that I wanted to build up momentum of goal setting. So basically 160 is, is 40 days, it's four sets of 40 days. So every 40 days I stack my goals, right? So I have a certain set of goals in the first 40 days. And then I have at, at the 120 mark, I have another set of goals and then at the 80 day mark I have another set of goals and we just keep on stacking build a momentum knocking out these goals so my first 40 days my goal was to get the YouTube channel started and basically just try to get as consistent with that as possible I think I did that um, and now uh, we're into this today actually right now you're watching this tomorrow but today which is Tuesday uh, is the 120 day mark so I'm setting my new set of goals so my new set of goals is this and I need you guys to hold me accountable these are my new set of goals okay number one no fast food for the next 120 days there I said it okay and YouTube I'm counting on you guys and all 83 of my subscribers to please keep me accountable like if you see a video like if you see somebody just let me go that was great if you see a video like just make sure that you leave a comment or a Facebook post or something just to like not just encourage me but like really like make sure that I don't eat fast food if you see me in the streets and I'm eating fast food remind me of what I'm saying on this vlog like it's so important so no fast food um, and by fast food anything that anything that I can talk into a speaker to get like if I have to talk into a speaker and there's somebody with a headphone set on the other side uh, that to me is fast food uh, like if I'm I don't know. Um, like if I go to Cheesecake Factory, that's not fast food, okay? If I sit down and I order, there's some preparation. The food obviously did not come fast. That's not fast food. But you guys know what I mean by fast food. Carl's Jr., uh, a, a Burger King, McDonald's, all that stuff. So none of that for the next 120 days. And no sodas is the first part. The second part is I'm working out every single day for the next 120 days. I have never worked out every day consistently for that long. I've done 60 days and I think I even did a little above 90 before, but I've never done 120. So this will be a brand new goal for me that prayerfully I can meet. And then, um, and then to help hold me accountable every day, I'm going to be uploading a vlog. So this vlog is going to turn from one or two a week to every single day. What that means is this, that some of the content may not be as invigorating, may not be as interesting every single day but it is my goal and my challenge to vlog every single day for the next 120 days 
this is gonna be bananas. Um, I, honestly, I think I'm biting off a lot, just throwing it out there, but for that's what I'm doing for the next 120 days. Now, when we hit the 80 day mark, I even have even harder challenges. And then I even have like the craziest challenge at the 40 day mark, but you guys are gonna walk with me through it, so yeah. Enough talking, man. Let's get to it. I'm at the store now. I need to I need to do a couple things. So let's let's do this. All right, spot number one down. Just left the grocery store, and now I'm headed to Target. I'm really running behind, it's 5.46, it starts at 7.30 and I'm all the way in Pasadena and I still need to go by the church office. So, this is shaping up to be, a, this is shaping up to be pretty crazy, pretty crazy. somebody that was really encouraging and I want to say thank you for everybody who's been supporting the daddy devotional vlog it's been very very brand new for me like I said the first 40 days of this 160 day challenge has been scary and nerve-wracking ignore the TV behind me but I want to say thank you guys so much for just supporting and encouraging and I appreciate it and I will keep doing these as long as I possibly can so So I definitely just got hung up at the Target line. Trying to get, they were trying to give me that red card. It took me forever to like get out of that line. Simply ridiculous. Target, do better. I don't want the card. I don't want the card. Okay. Out here trying to ruin my life, my credit, trying to get y'all products. I know how to pay with cash. Okay. Made it to the college. It's 7:03. We start at seven o'clock. I'm generally trying to be here at six, but I have not mastered this, this life of two kids. I just haven't mastered it, so. So I get to Bible study and this is what I see. I've never rode one of those. Will you, you show, should get on. Will you show me how to ride it? Will you show me? Yeah, get on. All right. I, I just gotta help you. You gotta film. Oh, don't fall, Devon. I'm gonna laugh. Devon's first time on the hoverboard. He's a real one because he don't need help. Oh! <laughs> okay, so what's the idea? Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, so how do I go forward? Yeah, me. Like. What? How is he getting this right now? Because I'm old. I actually have a video where someone was a couple of other guys in front of me. Was someone got a skyscraper? Oh! That's crazy. It's taking me forever. <laughs> Come on, Dave. You want to write this? No. You want to write it? Come on, dog. I got to go to grad school. Ooh, you got to go to grad school. I got to raise two kids. Come on, man. We can do it. It's not like skating. You know what it's like? It's like riding a unicycle on both legs. <laughs> it's scary. Here I go. It's very scary. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's why I'm not getting on. David uh, requested that I record it for a young woman. That's how it always starts. 
After 20 weeks gestation, the fetus's hearing mechanism is finally formed and can begin to absorb information. After 21 weeks gestation, studies show that what a woman eats during pregnancy can shape the food preferences of a child later in life. Even, Even before, before we're old enough for our eyes to be opened, we are fed knowledge and we are what we eat. I'm out of here. Sir, Devon, we've met before, haven't we? We have not. We have not. Okay, uh, Saran, pleasure to meet you, sir. All right, all right. How do you know these lovely people? Do you know Kenya? She a trip, ain't she? I love her. I love her. She a trip, man. Kenya's a trip. All right, peeps. Holla. The hard part about this 120 day challenge is not like being consistent, it's eliminating the valid excuses. So like right now, Caleb has 101 degree temperature fever. Aubrey has been like completely non-compliant when it comes to going to sleep and my wife's birthday is in literally 30 minutes. And I made a vow that I was gonna vlog every day, work out every day, and not eat fast food. Abstaining from things is super simple, but doing things is the hard part. And uh, I'm getting ready now to head to the gym at 11.30 after a long, crazy day. And I still have to get up early in the morning, get the kid to daycare, staff meeting, celebrate my wife's birthday, so much going on. But I think the key to consistency is forfeiting the right to make a valid excuse. So at this point, I can't help it. So going to 24 hour fitness, gonna knock out about a mile or two, just run, do some cardio, come back, edit the vlog, completely forgot that I was supposed to be editing the podcast for Twice Born. That's supposed to release tomorrow, so I may wait till the morning for that. But time to get it out of here. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Off to the gym. 120 day challenge. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm officially done. Day one is in the books. Uh, I finished a mile, 1.42 miles. Took me uh, 13 minutes to do so. Um, I don't know what the pace is for that, but that's uh, not good enough. Uh, one of the things I really want to do by the end of 2017 is run a marathon. So this is partly training for that, but today's in the books, it's past midnight. Uh, I am exhausted. Uh, you probably can't see it right now because I've been walking across the street. I'm at the train station right now. Uh, but I, I love it, man. I feel I feel great, but I'm tired. So I'm going to go home, uh, have me a little bit of dinner, and uh, edit this vlog. So uh, until then, man, remember everything that you do, everything that you do, make sure you keep God numero uno. I'll holla.